I've lost track of what day we're on, but welcome to Gaming with Jason. Welcome to Gaming with Jason. We are doing our mid-game playthrough, and let us see what we have here. So now that I have plenty of troops and I got plenty of air units, let me go ahead and get my build started first. I want my patrol plane. Um, Let's see here. I don't want any more ships. I think I want... Let me see. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me look at my armor real quick. Yes, I can. <gasps> I'm going to take advantage of that. All right. And then, on top of that... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I need another patrol plane. And just to make everything even, I will get one infantry. Do I have enough? I might actually have enough to take over Ho Chi Minh now. Okay, so when I annex a city, first thing I like to do is I like to build an air base. And there's a specific reason for this. When you build an air base, it allows, or excuse me, when you build an army base, when you go to build after it's been annexed, it will show that gear icon letting you know that you can build there. Because here's what I found a, a while ago is that when I didn't do that, I couldn't find the cities that I annexed. So I found an easy way around it just to make sure that I have the gear icon because that's what I look for. So when I go in here, so I'm annexing this city. So when I go in here, you see that there's no gear icon. But there was, there was to get these. So without at least a level 1 army base, you can annex a city and nobody knows. So it's important. Also, another thing that you want to do is you want to start going through your cities. And you want to start raising them for resources. Uh, let's go to Bangkok. Let's get rid of that. Because here's the thing. You get... Um... No, I'm not getting rid of that. I'm not getting rid of that. I don't get rid of air bases. And I'm not going to get rid of... I'm not going to get rid of the, the naval bases either. Because chances are Nagata and... Nagata and Fukoda, Fukuoka. I'm going to probably want to annex those cities next. Fukadu, Fukuoka. And where is... Fugadu, Fugadu, where is it? I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't see it. Let me let me make sure I got something right. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, so since we have started, and I want to make sure that people understand this. Man, I have got a lot to do. You know, in the mornings when you first log in, there is always a lot to do. Okay, so Canada. Hey, can I join your call with you, Indonesia? Okay, since I finish off U.S., I'm going to work towards... Um, you're going to have to wait for full doing a merger. Um, keep tabs with me and when an inactive gets booted, I will let you know you can apply. Okay. I'm not going to, uh, one thing you learn about players is that the better players, they're going to come along uh, towards the end of the game. And so you don't want to discount anybody. I learned a long time ago, I had a guy say, hey, I want to join your coalition. If you don't, I'm going to beat you up. I said, yeah, right. Guess what? I got spanked. I learned my lesson. You know, there there are players out there that are just, e either they're spending gold or something. I don't know. I just... You know, when somebody comes up and gives me an ultimatum, my first reaction is, screw you, I, I, I ain't going to do it. So uh, I plan to join, uh, take a bit to leave, need help with Africa. Okay, I have not told him. I don't have anybody open. Uh, okay, so I'm bringing Molly. Man, we got way too many. We might have to actually split this server up and say, okay, those who want the win, get the win. Those who want uh, gold, get the gold. And then we can work on it and put the top five players and maybe have two coalitions working together. But it's going to be really hard to grow because eventually we're going to have to do something. Uh, we're we're going to have to go to war sometime somewhere. But we will see this, and it looks like Indonesia has completely cleaned up his mess, too. Thank you. Oh, you missed a spot, dude. All right. 
All right, so I, I always have these five-minute windows, and I'm going to... I just haven't gotten around to putting it all into OBS. So I'll be end up doing that today. So within the next day or two, you will see me in OBS versus Loom because I, I'm doing long recordings for the, the different parts of the day of the playthrough because there's so much to do. All right. Uh, it looks like we've got a lot of what we need to get done. done. I am going to split him and send him over here. And so a lot of what you want to do is you want to start reorganizing and restructuring your coal or your your units. And you want to condense them and you want to move them around. So I've got like a bunch over here. And let's see here, split. Let's send him up here. All right. And here's another thing. You you see that I have this here. If I leave these naval patrol here, that is probably my that is a huge huge mistake. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm probably going to want to put an air base here so that if somebody comes up to attack, I can attack them from a distance and still preserve my units. Because you know how hard it's going to be if I wake up in the morning and I'm getting bombarded. And, you know, I mean, I've already lost half my units. If you wake up in the morning and get bombarded and nobody's there to help you, what you want to do is if you have your units, like I, if you notice, I keep my units over here and I keep my units over here, or I will end up keeping my units over here so that it offers an air defense because you know you're you're you can't do anything unless you have something like a rocket propelled uh, ro uh, a rocket launcher or whatever you can't do that so what i'm doing here let's see here do 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 all right i've got plenty of troops uh, oh i still need to do my research what do i want to research i have do i finally have yes i do all right, so I have the destroyers. I don't need to go up any further. I've got that, so I need to re research that. I need to start working on... Do I want ASWs or not? You know, I might have to just to get past the air defense. But that would only be if he has frigates. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I could upgrade these, and I'm going to be upgrading these next, but I want to make sure that I have... Okay, I'm going to be going with this. I'm going to stop using the recon. The recon was just in the beginning. Now I'm going to start popping these things out because it's important. Uh, as you see, wow, okay. All right, guys, I will see you in my afternoon playthrough. Um, I am working again today, so uh, I may end up... Uh, well, I may not do the evening playthrough, uh, but I will update you in the morning what happened in my evening playthrough. All right, guys, I will see you guys uh, in the afternoon playthrough. And hey, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. All right, guys, we are in the mid-game afternoon playthrough on, I think this is like day three. Let's see. Oh, yes, I finally got my Annex City. And I'm moving up on my electronics, and let us see what we can build in this city. There is nothing I can build in this city, because I don't have any more components. But I'm almost up to 200 components, and my gas is doing good. Where did I put my ships? My ships are over here. Have I finally... Have I taken over Hawaii yet? Attack. Okay, that's what... Oh, he must have... Huh. Okay, so I guess I didn't originally attack it. So as you see, I just I attacked, I declared war, but because I saw that dot there, I could do it. And then if you noticed, I also hit the cancel button, and now it automatically fires. And as soon as that unit is dead, let's see here, that is... Okay, Canada, you and me, we're going to be fighting. I told you, I sent you a message telling you I was taking Hawaii. So... um. You know, you you wanna you wanna play like that? Okay, fine. We we will play like that, and I will. Uh, I have no problem decimating you guy. Alrighty then. Uh, you know, I, I give these guys warnings. He wants to be a part of the coalition, and I will have to tell him that he he just he can't do that. That explain because I was firing on that, and I I think I eliminate. Let me see if I eliminated. Did I eliminate? 
no, uh, first infantry, 14th, first infantry, first infantry. He comes in. So essentially he just had to clean up my mess. And so I did all that for him. I told him that I was taking Hawaii. So that's on him. You know, this is what players got to learn. What is he? Where is, where is he pulling his troops? Okay. So he's pulling them from there, but why hasn't he stopped attacking this island? I'm about to just take the island because I feel sorry for it. I mean, pretty soon it's just, it's not going to be even an island. It's going to be a crater in the middle of the sea. I don't understand why players do that and then walk away for a couple days. You don't realize like how much destruction you've lost five population, which means the gas uh, output is now at 15 instead of a couple hundred when you take it over. You, you see the, the damage you, you're losing, you're losing resources by just setting your troops there and doing that. And just to show you kind of what I got, I've got six air superiority fighters. I got my first naval fighter. I got strike fighters. I've got almost a full wing of naval patrol, and I'm starting to build my gunships. And uh, it looks like I got a second one. Plus, I now have my tanks. And as you see here, I um, I did not build any more tanks because I realized that uh, if I did, then I wouldn't be able to do anything else. But I now have enough. I at least have enough tanks to where I can feel comfortable. But let me run him over here because I feel like I'm leaving that vulnerable. And all I'm doing is, um, and let me see. So he sent me a message. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull my, my ship back. All right. Um, pulling my ship back. We'll take island though. Okay, I'm just telling him that. And that's that. And now he might he may not like it, and I know I wouldn't like it, but yeah, I kind of told him already. I, it wasn't like he's like, yeah, I'm taking the United States. Well, I'd already moved in there. I was moving into position to attack the United States. So I let him have the United States, and I'm not going to attack him. So in exchange, give me Hawaii. I mean, it's a fair trade. You get safety, I get an island so that I can attack you whenever I feel like it. Because as soon as I put an air base here, I can hit the whole West Coast. All right, guys, so that is it for the afternoon playthrough, and I will see you guys uh, in the evening. Welcome back to the evening playthrough. Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, let's see what's going on here. I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, crap, I haven't been building either. I'm building over in Spain, but I haven't been building over here. So what do I have? I don't need any more ships. I want more of these, though. I always want more of these. I can never have enough of these. And let's see, what other areas can I build? Oh, I want naval jets. I need to start on naval jets. Okay, and the rest are level ones. Okay, and let's see here. I have 1,200, so I can spend it on that. I can spend another 1200 and I think that's going to be the last I do on that. Now, look at this. So I can build... Do I have... Oh, wait, I can only do that there. Do I have the electronics? Oh, I got plenty of electronics. So as you see in the other server, I got like 16,000 already compared to the 5,000 that I have here, and I'm having to ration myself. Uh, I was going to build gunships. Uh, oh, well, you know what? No, I have too many gunships. Let me... I don't have enough for that. Hmm. Hmm. I have enough gunships. How many gunships do I have? I don't want to have too many gunships because they, they do drain on your resources. And so you don't want to have too many gunships. And so where are my gunships? Where did I... Oh, I put them all here. And so, wow, I've got six superiorities and naval. Okay, so I've got a wing there, i got a wing there. I need attack helicopters. So it is in my best. Oh, and I still can't do that. Let's see if there's any on the market. Nope, nothing on the market. But we've got plenty of things open. Let me get this up. And that way he can, yeah, we'll just get that up. And I'm working on my, on this. 
I need to get this up to here as quick as possible. Just like you know how most people do their infantry and they upgrade it to like a, a three star right away. Well, I like to get it and upgrade it here because the range, I, I'm not worried about the range. The range just means it takes longer. But it does turn the speed from like seven. Uh, you, you turn it up a notch to 10, which is palatable considering the long range it does. You can go from Hawaii to down into the Panama Canal if you want to bomb them. Uh, I mean, you, you, have, you have a really huge range and you can also see stealth. Uh, which is good. Plus, you know, look what it does to the, the submarines. Okay, and so I don't want any more gunships. All right, we're good. And let's see, what else do I... Well, I guess I'm just going to have to go with... I think I'm going to just build an air base here. And I'm going to go without units in there. Because I just used up all my components, but it's important that I have an air base because it's Ho Chi Minh. And if I want to get from here to here to here to here to here to here, then yeah, then I can be a pachinko machine. Um, that's like uh, the Chinese version of like Blinko. If you ever watched, uh, what was that show? Um, the Price is Right. So it, it looks like I have. Nothing really left to do because we're kind of in a stagnant. Although I do want to start. I'm waiting for a message back from Indonesia because we need to go. And I am not taking that from Argentina. But what does he put? Is he, uh, he's put an industry on there. Oh, that's why. Okay. I didn't know that. And, uh, oh, man. Uh, oh, and just so you know, uh it, Anyways, Canada decided to capitulate, and so the deal with Canada is now off the table. I really want to go after Argentina because I see him as a threat. Okay, so we have some interesting developments on the diplomatic front. And I'm going to show you what I wrote to Argentina because it's pretty much that way it doesn't reveal everything else that's going on. So it says, hey guys, we have a lot of people... Uh, we're trying to get in here. We want to bring this to a vote as I'm talking to Italy and Russia. So I also sent this to Argentina just to open it up. So I gave them the op opportunity to say yay or nay. And it says we could form two coalitions, one with us and one with Italy and Russia and possibly Argentina. It would be a race between all players to get in the top five. Once all territory is conquered, uh, the top five players will go into a coalition for the win, and the second team gets a crap ton of gold. Now, we could, uh, we would have to do th a right of way, and normally I talk against this, but if the whole coalition and if everybody's agreed, I'm up for this because I want to experience this. I've heard about this, so I want to see if I can create it just so I can see what something like this would look like. It says um, it, it has to be a group vote, and then if, if anybody becomes inactive um, here, then we're going to let them join us. I, and I even put a couple of addendums because I wrote this out like a contract because essentially this is a contract. For me, it is at least. these. This is the terms of the agreement. This is what you agree to. It doesn't have to be written. It doesn't have to be signed. It just has to be agreed to. That's really what makes a contract. And, and we're making an exchange of value, which is we're, we're giving up a right away and we're choosing to uh, compete to be in the top five. Because here's the cool part about all of this. Now you have like seven or eight players competing to get into the top five. And now it's going to be a madhouse. Could you imagine everybody scrambling because those are like, oh, I want the win. And me, I want the gold. I don't care. I, I don't care if I'm not in the top five and I got to go down. Uh, so be it. It happens. But if I'm in the top five, well, you know what? Uh, I see no problem in it. And so when we get close to a win, this is what we do. And it says, if any of you become inactive then come back you'll need to join us the second team which will be the the uh, basically the bench warmers uh second team until the end of the game or another spot opens and i also said that if you're not in the second team within 24 hours after being booted so we'll give you a day just in case you came back and you know you you got sick or something you know we'll give you 24 hours to get into the second coalition or at least let somebody know, then 
you're fair game for attack. Uh, anybody that comes back and realizes they've been booted, they would be wise to send a message to the whole coalition. Look, I'm back. I'm trying to get into second team. Leave me alone. Otherwise, you know, you're going to have a bunch of sharks, you know, seeing blood in the water and it's going to be fun. So I'm hoping to turn this into it. So it looks like we could have Russia. We could have Argentina. We could have India. Uh, we could have UK. We could have Mali. And we could have Serbia. And we could have Italy. All just like it's a land grab. And you want to know what? Africa is the poor stepchild. So this is going to be really messed up. So if you stay through through the end of this, because I know about 25 to 30% of my audience makes it through this far. If you made it through this far, I hope that you're rolling because, and I hope that you're as excited as I am because this is the reason why I would want to tune in just to see the next one because I won't find out until tomorrow whether or not they even agree to it because everybody's on at different times. So this is going to be interesting. I will see you guys in the morning. You, you guys have seen everything that's going on. We're doing a whole diplomatic hoopla, and this should be very interesting. So I hope that you guys enjoy. And hey, if you're watching this one, also understand I'm also doing Spain. So if you want to keep up with both playthroughs, uh, go for it, or if you want to see other playthroughs that I do, see it from start to finish and, and participate in it with me, uh, you can subscribe. You also have my Discord uh, server down in the bottom. Uh, you could like it, you could share, you could comment. You know, you guys know what to do. If you like something, you're going to contribute to it, whether it be your opinion or whether it's just saying, I like it. So I shouldn't have to really say anything. So anyways, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. All right. It is, uh, I think, what, day five of my mid-game playthrough. And we are gearing up. Let's see. Have I gotten anything from Indonesia? Let me see if... Okay, so I got something from Italy. I'm confused. Kenna, sorry, I didn't have enough resources. He has a huge army. Indonesia, uh, I'm ready when you're ready. To, uh, okay, he's ready. I'm not attacking you, you moron. Who's attacking him? Nobody's attacking Oh, shit. Oh. Um, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as, I don't understand. They're like, okay, well, we're just going to take out Russia and Argentina. Wow. So, um, that is something else. Okay, so now I have Hawaii. I need to build an air base here. This is the most important thing for me to do. Okay, so if you want to get across the, uh, the ocean from Asia, you have to have air bases. Is there, there's one in Guam. Yes, there's one in Guam. So, I'll have to hop to the one in Guam. From the one in Guam, I'll have to hop to here. From here, then I'll have to hop to the United States or hop down here. But since Argentina owns this... I am considering backing off. Who's got... Oh, Britain's got... I'm going to have to ask Britain for help. Okay, guys. You may not be able to participate in the battle with me. Well, um, if the battle happens, it'll happen this afternoon. And I'll have to do it through OBS because it's going to be... It's going to be something that takes some time. And, yeah, that'll be that'll be a fun video. So, when we get ready to do... We're, we're, I think we're about ready to do a major attack. Um, these guys are moving along just fine. Damn, Indonesia. I mean, I've moved up to number four, but where's Indonesia? Indonesia's finally moving up. Okay, and UK's a damn UK. Okay, so I'm going to have to ask for UK's help against Argentina, and I think I'm going to ask for that way he gets something to do. And we have Mali. So let's see here. I think everybody, I think that was everybody's answer was to attack Russia. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, <laughs> let me see. Did David say, let me see if there was even anything said. Okay. If uh, a fair game. Okay. So nobody even read that or they read it and just ignored it. Um, you know, <laughs> well, I was kind of hoping, but apparently it's not going to happen. 
All right, <laughs> let's get to building. Let's get to the let, let's get to business because I got a lot of things I got to do today. And that's the great thing about this. Okay, let's see what do I have here. Ooh. Okay, let me just ferry these guys over here. Actually, no, I think it's time to start ferrying some of my. What is he? He's got. What is he doing? Ha! I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. Why is he marching a plane to Hong Kong? I gotta ask him this. I don't, I want to know the answer, and I'm sure you do too. Um, why are you marching a plane to Hong Kong? when there is <laughs> is no air base that that is just that is just funny okay guys um all right so we're we, we've caught up on the daily drama and so now let's go ahead and get into the building part okay let's get to building Let's see what we have here. Oh, let's see what we have here. Uh, I'm, I'm not even, I, I, I'm going to have to go to the Americas. I, I have to. So I'm going to move, I'm going to start moving all of my units over here that I feel comfortable. I've got a large enough stack here that I can just, boom, just like that. And I can keep building more. Now, see, I've been building and, you know, keeping my, let me leave one behind. So you can only get five units at sea. So unless you want to deal with the uh, slowdown and the longer time to get there. I mean, it's going to take them a day to get there already. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, let's fly you here. And let's split you so that you can get there at your own time. Let us get units. Okay, what units do I want to take over there? I'm going to take over a few units. Because one thing I've learned, if you're going to play overseas like this, you need to keep some air units at home. And so right now I'm forming my expeditionary wing. So there's my superiority fighters. There is my, I'm not going to do my superiority. Okay, so there is a strike wing, and I'm building a second one. And so I'm going to move that over there. And do I have any other planes? Yes. Okay, so I got two. I need to move these over here. Uh, do I have anything else? No, I don't see anything else. <clears throat> okay, so two, 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 two. let's look here. I've got this. I've got uh, I've got plenty of troops going that way. I only need a couple of divisions. I don't need a lot. Uh, once I get my air base established and I want to I want to start doing a little bit more, then I will start mainlining troops. But if you notice, I'm building an air base network so that I can quickly go over. And here's the other benefit. You know, when you when you take the sea. If you look, I'm going this route. So if there's a ship in any one of these junctions or anywhere along this route, I'm screwed. Whereas if I'm flying, I'm doing a straight line. And so that means that that ship has to be there. So this is protection of getting your, your troops uh, over water without having to deal with the... Uh, without having to deal with ships because this is how you negate a navy and navy is only good if you're if you don't have an air base network and you have to you you have to do an air uh, you have to do a land assault uh or a beach assault now i can move all the way over here i need to get him to build an air base so i can start doing a buildup of troops uh over here so that might be something i want to send to uk so i'm gonna ask uk if um would you be willing to build at me an air base in the Amer Americas so that I can build an expeditionary force to uh, attack Argentina? 
Would you like to help? Could use some naval presence. Okay. All right, let's see if he'll bite. Let's see if he'll help. All right, I might have to go on this alone. And if I go on this alone, just... I don't know if I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frank with you. Argentina can be a strong country, but what I've learned about being over in the Americas, your resource production sucks. The only country I find worth good resource production is uh, is Mexico, because you you can do so much more with Mexico. You can at least get your research done with Mexico, um, so that you can so that the units that you do build are important. Okay, so let's. Man, we got into okay. So I got done moving that. Let's see here. I need to start building navy fighters. So let's do that. And let's build. Let's build infantry. Uh, and one tank. All right, that's that's our build for the day. All right, guys, I will see you guys in the afternoon. Um, and so yeah, I've got I've got my tanks. And I even got infantry being built here. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Gaming with Jason. All right, so it looks like... Um, looks like we're on day five of our playthrough. And as you can see, this is what I did last night. And it looks like I did pretty well. I did well for myself. Good. All right, and so there we go. So now let's start condensing troops. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me let me get some troops together. And or did, oh, I sent them all up there already. Um, let me send this one up here. Oops, wrong one. Let me send this one up here. And let me split. Oh man. Move. Okay, this this game sometimes it really makes me mad because it's so it's so sensitive. And then what it likes to do is, um, it, is it likes to like if I'm going to to go somewhere, it will constantly make me have to keep hitting that button because it constantly refreshes, and it'll go through periods of the day where it does that, and it makes it so hard to move. It upsets me so much. Why has Poland got his stuff over here? All right, Poland, you, me, we're going to have some issues. Don't don't come over here. Y you finally came over here. So is he fighting Ukraine? Okay, I got to I got to send it. This guy's an idiot. Um, okay, so let me go find Poland. Okay, Poland, uh let me just type it in here. Poland. I am removing your right of way, and you need to. Yeah, you're an idiot. And here, let me just make sure that you understand. Let's see that if I. Okay, good. Well, at the bare minimum, and then what I can do is tell. Okay, what is your problem? Okay, there is something wrong with this game because it should have been able to attack. But he's not his that's not going to last. You you can't do that to me, dude. That's just players that do that, I don't understand them. Why would you do that to a former ally member sitting your thing over there? It's like, look, no man. You were booted for inactivity a week later you decide to come back. No, we don't play that game. And let's see here. Let's get me... I want another... I need to start building some gunships. And it looks like I now have enough materials to get it done, too. Why? Why? Oh. Oh, wait. Wrong one. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's see here. Let's get me another gunship. Okay, let us... How am I... How am I doing on components? I got plenty of components. So let me do this. Let me build me another ship. And now that I've built me another ship, let's build a couple more infantry. 
Let's see, it, now that it's past day 14, you see how all of a sudden I go from having almost no resources to now all of a sudden I have a crap ton of resources? This is the part of the game that I just don't understand. Why is it all of a sudden, like for the first two weeks of the uh, of of the game, you don't get a lot of you don't get a lot of stuff, and then afterwards, when I just I don't understand it. That's that's probably my my biggest thing. Is I just don't understand it. Why would why would it be so hard? But then it's like all of a sudden you hit this specific day, and it's like all of a sudden the floodgates open. Now I've taken over. I mean. The only thing extra that I have taken over is I finished taking over Molly. Molly's pretty much done. I'm just cleaning up my mess. And now all of a sudden I have plenty. So let's go see what I can do as far as research. Okay, let's see. I want to upgrade. Do I want to upgrade my infantry? Or let's see. I need tanks. This is important. I need to have these tanks. I learned my lesson without having tanks in the last game. Oh, and by the way, guys, you see up here, looks like I won another game. Yeah, I came in second place with like 1,400 points. But I, I really was kind of slacking off on that game, too. Anyways. Uh, all right, so we've got all this going on. And you know what? I think that for the most part, I have gotten everything done that I need to get done for my morning. Except for now I want to move him up over here. And as you see, I've declared war, and you see the, the circle? I put it there, so it's over the center of the city. I, I could go much further away, actually. I could even go... I go right here. And see the circle? The circle is just fine, and it will... Um, it, it will... Uh, it will bombard this. And so... This is just... Do, 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 do. Okay, I am done for the morning. There's nothing more for me to do. Uh, I have done everything that I can do. And I just have to wait for this. And then once this gets done, then I should be able to... Oh, yeah, that... Let's see. Oh, yeah, that, that should basically end the gunship. Because um, it's considered a soft target at this point in time. And so, therefore, it would get seven on that so that should be in about 15 game minutes that should be done past that uh all i'm going to be doing today is finishing up france and i does it, what is italy doing oh italy finally decided to start attacking okay good good to know all right because yeah i was about to start booting him um all righty then sounds good so he's moving now. Let's see if we can get him going uh, a little bit faster so that we can get Europe taken over. And I think after I'm done with France, what I'm going to do is I am going to go down here to, uh, to Africa and I am going to start battling in Africa. And by the time I'm done with France, I should have enough units because as you see here, as you see here, do I have, oh, I do have the ability. So... I can, let's do this. Let's give an air base in each one of my cities. Here's something else that I like to do. I always like to make sure that I have an air base in every one of my cities. Uh, it's important because when you're trying to get people to the front lines, so let me show you real quick. So my air base is here or wherever in any of my cities, but I am trying to get to here, anywhere here. I develop an air base probably somewhere around here so that I can fly my troops in and then they got a quick march to where they're going and then I just keep building air bases along the way so that as I get my reinforcements I can reinforce quicker and the quicker that I can reinforce it means the higher chances I have to win the game so that's important that you that you understand the importance of air bases and having an air base network and let's send this guy since we found him Let's send this guy up here to Paris. That way I have enough. And this one right here, you know what? I'm going to send these guys down. Where is... I have... I have a hospital, at least I thought I did. Ah, uh, we'll send it right there. There, that'll go to the hospital. 
And, you know, it's really good. I always have hospitals, and that's another thing that I need to build in my cities, is I always build a couple of hospitals up to level three because it's important. Let me show you what hospitals do. Uh, if you didn't know about hospitals already, let's see here. Hospital. Hospital. You get It gets 10 hit points. It gives you an extra hit point per 24 hours plus a 20% population growth. So if you're trying to affect your politics, or excuse me, if you're trying to affect your economy, this will help your economy because of the population growth and the production that's put out at that point in time. But you get a natural one hit point in every city. So if you look right here, it, says, it tells you your victory points, it tells you your population, it tells you your hit points. So without it, you automatically in a city, in every city, uh, that includes, even down here in an occupied city, as you can see, one hit point a day. So when you add that hospital, it now goes up to two hit points a day. One more quick thing to realize about uh, hospitals is this, and let me get back down to it again, is that um, you have one hit point per 24 hours. Uh, maximum, it used to have a maximum hit points. I think they changed this. It used to say like a maximum of... Hi and welcome everyone to the midday playthrough. All right, uh, this is day six on Spain. Um, let's look here. Uh, we don't really have a lot to do, but I'm going to tell you right now, I have been looking around. I've got Egypt, I've got Libya, and I've got Saudi. And those three guys are looking pretty scary. So either I'm going to have to have a big fight... Or I'm going to have to do like a two on three or three on three, something like that. Because at this point, I am, I'm starting to get a little worried that I might be vulnerable. These guys could attack me. And so now I'm starting to shore up my defenses. Uh, let's move this one over here. And so just something uh, for you guys, if you are ever curious. If you try and and put like planes and if you try and move your plane and you got a helicopter in there, you actually have to either move the helicopter or put the planes in patrol because if you don't, uh, if you don't, what will happen is it will only go as far as the helicopters because it's going to go the shortest distance uh, of the uh, of the units. So that should be something that you are thoughtful about if you are. Uh, wanting to know a little bit more about gameplay but as you see i am doing quite well so let me let me do this um let me put him here and he'll be there in four hours i'm gonna have to wait till the turn of midnight once the turn of midnight happens because uh, this is still at 25 percent. i just took the city over once once midnight is over, then uh, then I can I can move that troop into place. I'm just making sure to clean up my messes. Come on, how come you can? So you'll go this way, but then when I come back, you'll fly. Why won't you fly there? That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. Um, that's the way the game goes. Okay. There's really not a lot to do, as I said, and so this is going to be my mid-afternoon playthrough, and I will see you guys in the evening. All right, guys, let's uh, get you into what you came here for, which is to see what I'm building, which I'm building more infantry. Oh, and I need another infantry. And this is basically what I do. So when I take a, a smoke, ba smoke break throughout the day, sometimes I'll log in and I'll just see if I need units. And I'll just keep building them so that when I get on and I can have a, a lot more time to put to the game and start moving, I at least have something to move with. And I think that this is the difference between players that win and players that don't win is when if you don't take those little opportunities, it only takes... If you've got the app on your phone, I use the app on my phone. If you wanted some tutorials on the app on the phone, I'll show you how to use the app on the phone. No problem. Uh, that's really easy. I, well, kind of. But, you know, you really want to save. If you're doing, if you have a PC, you want to do your attacking through a PC. It's so much better. Uh, I prefer to do minimal things on the phone just because it's more complicated. And you can always tell because... People that play on their phone always overshoot their target, 
And it's kind of funny to watch. You got to realize you got to go into the junction. So you got to make sure that you're tapping in the right spot. It's sometimes you, you overshoot it no matter how hard you try and get it perfect. But most of the time, if you do it right, you get it right. Um, but this is what I'm building. Let's see. I have I have air bases in all my in all but one of my cities. I've got my fifth destroyer. It is the 21st day. So by day 21, you should have your first fleet built and ready to go and start kicking the crap out of somebody. Because of what Italy did, I was talking with USA and Saudi about doing a merger, and I still think I might do a merger. Um, I think that. Uh, you know, uh, we need somebody to that's strong to be there at our backs because I've got too many big people at my border and, you know, Ukraine doesn't want to be left out. So I'm going to tell Ukraine uh, after we get off here that we're probably going to end up merging with Saudi because I think that uh, going to Saudi would be would be really, really good idea because we can work on Africa. I think that USA, they're, they're a lot more experience but i think that these guys here uh because we're close together and saudi seems to be a very active player at least his quick responses um i think that that might be the direction we go but i want to see if usa responds too so um i'm going to tell ukraine that we're going to start looking for a, another a coalition to join or see if they'll come over here but we need to we, we need to be with some some other players at this point. Um, just because Ukraine, he's been a stellar player and he's doing good. He's Ukraine is actually I'm number five. Oh, Ukraine just got jumped down to number two. He was number number uh, one. So Ukraine is doing a phenomenal job. And look, he's only a, a twenty. He's doing great. I'm proud of that guy. He's doing real well. And me, I'm just sucking wind over here because I screwed up. But now that I've got my ships and everything like that, and you notice I'm not complaining about electronics. I got plenty of electronics. You know, unlike every other uh, country that you play with, the great thing about Spain is you have plenty of electronics. So if you want to do, it's European, but if you want to do an air and, and sea, uh, attack and you want to have you want to be dominant in air units and have more of an air presence as you see i have two attack helicopters three gunship wings i have five more he attack helicopters there so i've got enough hel attack helicopters to go after uh armor all right and I've got my naval patrol planes. I'm getting a wing there. I have got my superiority fighters. I need to start upgrading those. But these guys can just go in there and occupy territory. Leave the work up to my to my air units. And let these guys just kind of do what they do best, which is occupy territory and defend it. And so that's the strategy that I'm going to be going after moving forward, because that was the reason why I wanted to build Spain. And now that I have at least France and I might end up getting Italy before the uh, before the game's out, um, I will have everything I really need. I don't need Germany. France and Italy is enough resources for me to rule the world. And so I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. All right. Welcome to another morning playthrough with uh, Gaming with Jason. I hope you all slept well. I know I did. Well, And uh, just to kind of let you know what's going on, apparently, I guess I did kick Italy and... Italy's not very active, and I would rather manage his resources for him. I'm much better at it for him than he is. I mean, just to get him to start attacking, and he ends up attacking this guy, which, you know, that that's my own fault, but he's going to lose anyways. Ooh, oh, damn. Okay, so it looks like um, this one's going to be... This one's going to be fun. So we're probably going to end up losing Serbia because he's going to lose his capital. Um, I may, I may warn him and tell him to build his headquarters somewhere else, but he's going to lose everything and that's fine. Um, I am in the process of sending all of my troops over 
And so I've got ships going here. I got one here, one here. Kind of to do a little bit of a blockade to prevent anything from coming through these channels. So he's going to be jumping from this city, coming here. Uh, and if he tries to come from here, down to, he's going to have to come down here. So that means he'll probably have to go through this junction. I might split it up and just make sure to blockade there. But um, as you see, because of the right away, like I was telling you guys last night with the right away, is I have right away. I can now walk into it. He did not take the time and turn it to peace. And because of that, now I can just fly right in and take all of his stuff in a matter of minutes. So <clears throat> when this when this actually happens, because this is going to take a minute. Oh, because well, yeah, it's going to take. How long is it going to take? Oh, this is the one that's going to the capital. So it's going to take about 45 minutes uh, real time. And so I might come back after I'm done doing my mid game playthrough and take a look at it and say and see if uh, if I've landed. If I have, I'll do just another segment on that just to kind of show you uh, the idiocy of not doing uh, of not removing the right of way when you leave a coalition. I mean, he could have very easily removed the right of way, but he didn't. And that's his own fault. But as you see, I have. Oh, I have nice stacks going everywhere. I finally have a military. Now let's get in and see what I can build. Oh, and by the way, um, if you guys like these playthroughs, uh, just so you know, these playthroughs, there is a playlist. So I have three main playlists, and I'm going to have to kind of split them up for the different games that I'm going to end up doing over time. But for this game, uh, I have play, a playthrough playlist. I have a tutorial playlist so if you want to learn little things about the game little nuances that i didn't know about and until i learned about them and so i thought it would be interesting to share with you or little tidbits of information that i find that very few players of the game uh, very few players in the game actually focus on and so i want to make sure to bring that up in a tutorial to make that a more common feature in the game uh, such as i did a video last night that i'm going to be uploading here probably today and you'll see this video like a day or two after that but um i did a whole video on intelligence and it was it was it was important to understand intelligence because very few players use it also what i also do is I like to do strategies because, you know, we play strategy games. This is a strategy game. And as a strategy game, uh, we're going to want to share the different strategies that we use. And the thing is, is what makes me confident that even if you see my strategy and you play against me, that I still have a good chance of winning is because my chat, my strategy always changes. Unless you know the primary units that I always focus on, but the primary units that I always focus on, almost all players focus on, which is infantry and naval patrol. But then you don't know if I'm going to go with a, with a land-based warfare or if I'm going to go with a sea-based warfare or if I'm going to go with an air-based warfare. And depending upon which way I go is going to determine whether or not you will... Um, it's going to determine whether or not you'll be able to beat me or not. Because if you have a ground strategy, if I have a ground strategy, you got to attack me a different way. If I have a Navy strategy, you got to attack me a different way. If I have an air strategy, you got to attack me a different way. So that's how I keep it in keeping it random. See, my grandfather came out of Vietnam, third most decorated soldier. Or no, excuse me. My great uncle did. My grandfather, uh, he was Army's chess champion. And he used to escort nukes around Vietnam. And one of the things that he always taught me growing up is never take the same route. Uh, he was in. He was one of the first recruits in the Delta Force. Him and my great uncle also became Airborne Rangers. My grandfather did it for the pay. He wanted to get more pay and have more specialty skills. And because of that, he also ended up becoming a damn good recruiter. And he wrote in the 70s and, and uh, early 80s, he wrote the recruiting manual for uh, at least the Army. But from what I understand is that the Navy, Air Force, and Marines took a lot from it, too. So, I mean, I use some of the things that he taught me, and that's the one of the reasons why I choose a different strategy. So I'm doing infantry. I'm getting my infantry up because I, it's, I find it important. Next thing I want to focus on is this. 
because I needed to start being able to protect my naval ships. So as you see, oh wait, no, that's a different game. Um, I want to get these naval patrol up so that they can... Um, I want to get my naval patrol up so that they can become a, a little bit more uh, of a of a formidable force because I'm planning on a navy and either I'm going to take over Europe with Ukraine and me and Ukraine are going to own Europe and we're just going to take over Italy and Serbia and call it good. I'm not exactly sure, but as you see, I've taken a good chunk of that, but I got 6,000. So what do I want to do? I want I definitely want another one of these. I don't have a full wing yet. Okay, uh, I have plenty of those. I need, I need to get some of my air bases up. I want to get a couple of air bases up to level two so that I can build more than just superiority fighters. I want, I need to build up my, uh, my attack helicopters. Okay, so I got two of those. Let's put infantry in there for now. There we go. And let's see. Okay, so I don't have any ability to do that. But it was important that I put in the airbase and it goes up on electronics and stuffs, which means... Um, so if you're ever looking to improve your economy, there are multiple ways to improve your economy. And I'll show you. I've kind of got it going in my city here. I've got a hospital. And a hospital, what a hospital is going to do is it's going to increase your population. Your population increase. So as you see, I have a 7.1 this population increase uh, directly affects my, where is it? Multi-selection. Oh, okay. That's why. Uh, let me go into this one. Okay. There we go. So because I have, uh, because I have 7.1 in my population, I get 1,986 stuffs or, or supplies. And the thing with this, is as your population increases and you're kind of helping it increase, okay, because you get a 20%, 30%, 75%. Now, you can also use a double edge because it can heal your, your soldiers as well. But on the flip side, you also, as you see, I've got a level two arms industry, um, which you get 10% per. And so like 30 all the way up to 50%. But then you can also add another 25%. Because for every level you go up of air base, it is a 25% uh, re resource production increase. So all the way up to 25%. So if you max out your um, if you max out your air bases and your arms industry, you will have a 75% boost on top of uh, adding hospitals, which gives you the population growth and the boom that you need to be able to really stack up your resources. I've never tried to do it all the way up that high. I might try it in this game just because it seems like it's moving slow enough to where I might have some time to make it up to day 60 for that. But I think that this might be something that I want to do in the future. All right, guys. So that's it for the morning playthrough. I will see you guys uh, in the afternoon playthrough. Okay, guys, this is the addendum. This is what I was telling you about. Okay, so now that I'm here, and I've got plenty of troops here, guess what I'm going to do? I am now going to go in and, let's see, declare war! Die! All right, and I should have this city. Oh, man, I thought, I thought this one was... Okay, so I've got like 12 minutes. Okay, so as you see, here's what's going to go on. So it's going to take up, let me pause this. All right, guys, 15 seconds. Oh, man, this is this is going to be interesting, right? Yeah, I wonder how, my, my biggest question is, is how much damage am I going to do to this airport? It's already taken 8 of 10. Um, I think I've already owned it and let's see it's still four oh barely just barely preserved it so let me get that up and running because that is extremely important to have now i can start moving all of my air units in and i can come over here and take out his officer 
And let's see here. I want to take out his... Uh, yeah, I want the gunships over there. Let's see. Okay, I just barely make it. Okay, so I got the gunships. And I got the attack helicopters. I, he, he does have a little bit of armor in there, but not much. I'm more worried about the officer than anything. <clears throat> the officer only affects the infantry, though. Like, the infantry officer only affects infantry. The tank officer only affects tanks. And I do not believe that you can stack two of them in the same, in the same stack. They won't allow you to do it. Um, they have to be independent stacks. But he, he built an officer, and the officers are good. Um, if you want to build them and make them a part of your strategy, I have. They're fun. Um, but uh, let's see here. But as you see... Just like that, I didn't have to go over ships, take all these hours, and a matter of 45 minutes of my time, three hours game time, I was able to take over. Um, I was able to take over all of take over his capital city, and now all the rest of his cities are going to go south. And because um, he is not going to be able to build, because he is getting his, I need to get Serbia to stop bombing these cities, though. So I want to preserve some of the infrastructure. Well, hold on. The infrastructure that I really wanted has been preserved. And he was starting to build ships. So let's see. I don't see anything, but I might have to send these guys over here. I'm going to send them right there. Because if there is something there, it'll automatically fire as long as it's within this circle. And that's something always to be mindful of. That way you don't destroy infrastructure if you don't necessarily need to. But I don't think that there's any ships in the area. Otherwise, he would be losing his his uh, whatever it's called. But, oh, we got another stack. And he he's going the mech. Oh, man, this guy, if he would have gotten up and actually gotten his stuff together, but he's not that active. If he would have been a little bit more active and gotten his stuff together, he would have been a really formidable foe. I'm glad I didn't attack him at first because it would have it would have decimated me. I would have lost. So, you know, sometimes make your, your choice of your first attack is extremely important. Okay, so let's see here. Well, now you get to see the rest of this is just... Um, it, it's just clean up. I mean, now that you've seen what one can do, unless he's got military hanging out here, but he's sending everything he's got after Serbia and I'm just going to backdoor him. And because Serbia, you know, Serbia took out and I told, I've made a promise to Serbia last night that if he survived the night, I would attack Italy. Well, guess what? Never mind. I just went ahead and did it. So, um, and he didn't get the hint. Like he kept attacking. Um, and he, yeah, anyways, um, he could have gone to peace and come back, but he didn't. And Or he could have at least sat there and dealt with me. But the way he, he only comes on like once a day for maybe five minutes, does a couple of things, and then he's off. And that's great if you are playing the slow play game. But in a, in a four times speed game, uh, that doesn't work. You will be eaten up real quick because you're, you're not active. Uh, you're easy to take over later in the game.